Hey there, Kazen here, and welcome back to Always Doing. I was going through Olive over at a Book Olive's channel, and I was looking at a lot of the tags she had done in the past, and I found this one. It's the Finished the Book tag. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure who the originator is, if the video even still exists, but I will link to her version of it. And the questions are fun, so I thought, why not? And there's only eight of them, so let's jump right in. Number one, do you keep a list of the books you read? Yes. I have Goodreads, of course, and that's where I keep, that's my main area for keeping track of all of my bookish stuff, but I also keep a paper list and I split it by month. So each month I pull out a new sheet of paper and I write the name of the month on top and I'll keep all of my information on there. Reason being that as wonderful as technology is, I don't trust it completely and I want to have my own paper hard copy in case something goes wrong with the cloud or there's an electromagnetic burst and all of the world's electronics are fried, I will at least have a list of the books I read. Two, if you record statistics, what do you record? So on my sheet of paper, I will write the book name, the author name, the series name and book number in that series if that applies, the date that I finish, my star rating, and then some other information that goes along with the book. So author gender, if it's fiction or nonfiction, and any other things that may apply. So for me, that's if the author is a member of a marginalized community, so if they're people of color or disabled or neuroatypical or anything along those lines, I'll write that down as well as if it is a translation. Number three, do you give star ratings for books? And if you do, what do you score out of and how do you arrive at that score? I do give star ratings. I give them out of five, but I don't necessarily mention the star rating in every single review I do. If you are curious about how I come to my ratings, I have a whole video about that. So check that out. Number four, do you review books? Yes, of course. I started off as a book blogger and I have a website with tons of reviews on it. All of those reviews are also on Goodreads and of course I review here. I will say that if you want more information about a book than I give in my booktube review, do check out my written review. They're different animals, different aspects of a book tend to come out in the review that I'm talking and speaking with you guys as opposed to a written review where I can be a bit more methodical and maybe a bit more precise or add more quotes and those sorts of things. Number five, where do you put your finished books? Most of my reading is a digital, so I just move it from one collection to another collection. That's for my finished books. My physical books get moved to a different shelf. I have a TBR shelf and then once I'm finished with it, it goes on whatever shelf it belongs. Manga on the manga shelf, recent reads that I finished have their own shelf, more referency reads have their own shelf, and so on. Number six, how do you pick your next book? Whim! The main way I choose my next book is whatever is available, whatever's sitting there, and whatever I'm in the mood for. In addition to that, I do am lucky enough to receive advanced copies, so those are definitely attached to a time I really should be reading them before the review date. So that affects when I pick it up. The other books that I'm reading also play a factor in helping me decide my next book. So if I'm fighting to get through a in, you know complicated, intense non-fiction work, I'm probably going to choose something lighter, like maybe a romance or some science fiction for another book to read, that kind of thing. Number seven, do you have any rituals when you finish a book? And ebooks, I leave it in my collection with all the other unread books until I write my review. That's like my reminder. Every time I open that up to whatever I'm reading, I'm like, oh yeah, I still got to write the review for XYZ. Once I'm finished with it and I write the review, it gets moved into the finished collection. Physical books, again, once I write the review, usually get put on the finished shelf wherever they belong on the bookshelf. And Japanese books, once I finish, that's when I'll take off any covers that I may have put on it, be it a paper cover or a plastic cover because I was carrying it in my work bag to keep it, whatever, that stuff. I'll get it back down to its normal dust jacket. And number eight is who do you tag? But this tag is so ancient and old, I have no idea who's done it. So if you would like to do this tag, please consider yourself tagged. Let me know about it. I'd love to see your answers. But yeah, and that went a lot faster than I thought it would. 
So I'm curious, am I the only one that keeps a paper list along with Goodreads or whatever else, or am I an anomaly? Let me know down in the comments below, if, especially if you're one of the paper people. I would love to hear from you and what stats you keep. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!